Hello and welcome to the infrastructure uh, infra, um, Jenkins infrastructure uh, meeting. We are the 28th of February uh, with uh, Mark Waite, uh, Stefan Merl, Bruno Verhen, and Kevin uh, Martins uh, present. Uh, we'll start with announcement. Uh, the weekly release. Uh, is uh, currently in progress, uh, doing fine, I think. I don't know if there are other, uh, there is an other uh, announcement, I don't think. Okay. Upcoming calendar uh, next weekly is uh, today. Next, next LTS is, um, March the eighth. Uh, yes. Uh, so next uh, Wednesday, I think. Next security release. Uh, I don't know if it has been announced yet. So. Yeah. No. No public announcement of any security releases yet. Uh, any other uh, calendar event? Uh, scale, yes, scale. Uh, on uh, scale at uh, you're going to scale, um, scale X with yeah, uh, so Alex. scale 20x, uh, March 10 through 12, Los Angeles, California. Uh, Mark attending, yeah. Alyssa and I will be there. I've got I've got two weeks to get my 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 clone of Mini Gen ready. It's nice. So assemble my box. Uh, Weekly is still running for information. Mm. Oh, the job is still running, Stefan. On the package uh, station, this package uh, stage. Oh, interesting. Good. Okay. Sorry, didn't have it. No problem. Um, we can go now to the issue we've done, uh, we've uh, worked on uh, this week, this past week. We'll switch to uh, GitHub. Um, first, we had the uh, um, Azure credential uh, for trusted uh, CI Jenkins that I own which expired we've been a little bit uh, late to renew them so um can, uh, stefan can you tell us a little bit more about it or? um yes we did renew um we did had uh, a service uh, uh, principle for uh, azure uh, on the model of Azure.net, which was already done on the other side. Um, it, it appeared to have a little problem with um, the password we use was not, was not the, the correct one from Terraform to get used. So as a, a, an emergency uh, uh, solution, uh, Damien set a, a temporary, manually a temporary password, and we would have to check on that and to uh, respawn the correct uh, service provider for Azure, but we it's almost done. We were on that yesterday evening at like 7 p.m. So next one, uh, CI the Jenkins that IO is in building forks for uh, pull request on Jenkins IO components. Uh, it was uh, my mistake. I forgot to add this repository to the one uh, the GitHub action uh, was allowed to work on uh, the CI that Jenkins uh, uh, GitHub app uh, we are using for the uh, for um, the GitHub interaction uh, is authorized on a specific repository. Not every repository on Jenkins Safra, and I forgot to add Jenkins IO component in that list. So it's now working. Uh, an issue I've 
uh, close as uh, not land is uh, someone uh, opening an issue concerning uh, Jenkins itself and not see Jenkins infrastructure. Uh, some uh, issue about uh, accounts, uh, not a lot. Trusted, uh, we had uh, an issue with um, to regenerate uh, the uh, the Let's Encrypt uh, certificate. It was a little bit tricky as uh, Damien had to use. Um, uh, uh, to install the setbot uh, with a uh, tricky puppet uh, script. Yeah, with the Python, we had, uh, we had that, that issue had uh, interact on, on another one because he had to install um, Python 3.8 on system that had 3.6. And uh, in fact, that installation uh, crashed APT and something else would, which needed 3.6. So we yeah. had to work on a uh, mm -hmm. virtual environment part to have the correct um, Python, Python for each tools. Uh, kind of a little nightmare on Puppet, but uh, it did a nice job. I think it's it's working now. What is the Putting this machine uh, as code uh... Is more and more uh, uh, not urgent, but uh, needed. Yeah. Mm. Use uh, SH, uh, SHA one uh, ashes instead of uh, metable reference for GitHub action dependencies. So Daniel Beck asked us to use uh, commit reference instead of uh, version number which are mutable since you can create a new tag and uh, with the same version number. So I've used the uh, multigator uh, and the uh, rackets uh, tools to to transform uh, to, to use uh, the commit uh, SHA uh, instead of the version while keeping the version number uh, as command. So Dependabot can update both and still uh, being readable for a human. Thank you. Thank you very much for the comment because the SHA-1, while I appreciate that it is absolutely unambiguous, I have a very difficult time reading SHA-1s and understanding what they are. Yeah. Uh, I've... Uh, initially modified every GitHub action and uh, reading again uh, Daniel's uh, issue and uh, reading uh, Tim uh, Jacom and uh, Alexander Brandes comment. I've uh, excluded uh, official GitHub and uh, Jenkins GitHub action from this binding. So we won't be uh, submerged by dependabot uh, notification as uh, we trust this uh, origin. So every action, GitHub action, starting with GitHub or action or Jenkins Safra, uh, not this one. Yeah, um, I fix the wrong example. Uh, no, yes, this one I uh, this one has been closed because uh, Daniel uh, uh, noted it was indeed uh, official uh, GitHub action. So, so, uh, so uh, his, yeah. So Hervé, I was I had misunderstood. So official GitHub actions, he's okay with those yeah. using symbolic because we trust that they won't hijack. Uh, they won't yes. replace a release for a, a V2 with another an alternate V2. Okay, exactly. good. All right. So we don't have to do this except for actions that are not official GitHub actions and not um, Jenkins actions, well, not yeah, actions. That's we a political, political yes, take of risk. In fact, we, we right. choose to trust them. Yes, indeed. And uh, so I have I did the script I used uh, in the test repo, so we can use it again for the 
similar action. We, we need to point that he did an awesome job. His tool is, is great. With one tool, one script one, uh, on the help desk, he was able to provide uh, a pull request on like 10 or 15 different repository and, and dealing with uh, all that uh, SHA, SHA uh, versioning. So it's, it's really awesome. And we need to keep that sample if we want to provide multi, multi gitter you say, multi gitter uh, uh, PR everywhere. It's really cool. Not, not only the SHA stuff, the way used to do that is really great. Good, good um, job. Yeah. Thanks. The next issue was about uh, build stack in queue. Uh, we we don't uh, really know why. Uh, Stefan noticed uh, by clicking on post resume uh, it uh, it start again or it stops them. Uh, since uh, last week, uh, um, with the last uh, Kubernetes update, uh, we don't we didn't uh, notice the, this issue anymore. So, yeah, but we we also yes. increased the the R drive, don't we? Yes. On this one, yeah. Yes. We choose to have a a, a very uh, high high op R drive because we were using way too much. So the spike that we were using were uh, going over the, the threshold that we had. And by choosing another kind of uh, SSD, we were able to have better peak and better thresholds. A way to Kubernetes 1.24, uh, the upgrade went well. Uh, no issue whatsoever. We had the... Um, there was a modification about uh, i don't know if we put it in there there was a, a spec which has been uh, deprecated and uh, we had uh, we had until uh, 1.25 to resolve uh, version to resolve it but we found the corresponding annotation replacing it it was a uh, spec that uh, Load balancer IP, and it's now uh, yeah to deal um, with IPv6 and IPv4, so it's used is useful. Yes. So yeah, we we didn't add uh, any particular problem about this upgrade. Unsure all GitHub action and version are pinned and tracked is uh, the, the end of, I don't know why yeah, I repent it because uh, my initial pull request put the dependabot configuration file in the wrong folder. So I had to make another round of pull request to fix that, to move them to the dot github folder instead of the dot github slash workflows folder uh, i had not my fault for to trusted that ci uh it was a remaining uh, issue uh, damien added it in, uh, to the corresponding uh, trusted group in ldap and uh, uh is um SSH uh, key to the bastion and the trusted machine. So we can access it as you want. And finally, uh, Jenkins code is, I don't remember. I know this one if you want. It's the problem yeah. that uh, Docker CE doesn't uh, uh, install at the same time Belix so uh, as we were okay. using buildix we had to install that by ourselves uh, on the site so damian did a new release of packer image 060.1 and uh, we had a problem with 060.0 because the am they failed at the building so when we when we uh, uh, send it on online we were missing one so it did a 060.1 
and this one everything went fine was that was a temporary error and it deployed and uh, we now have a specific installation for buildx so is buildx the the removal of buildx from docker ce is intentional by docker yes yes in ah. fact it, yes, it, it's not... installed if you if you leave uh, you know, when when you use APG, you can leave all the packet he, he, he wants you to install, but we will move that on the installation. So that's why it's not pushed. The problem is they don't uh, make it uh, uh, obvious that uh, it was a breaking change for many, many people and organizations. Uh, now we can go to the current issue. Uh, trusted CI doesn't spawn new nodes. It's related to the service principal uh, issue uh, Stefan spoke about uh, before. It should be with. Uh, uh, it uh, should be temporary. It should for work. The current for the current uh, release and there is additional work uh, to do. Uh, Damien right, uh, wrote uh, what we need to do next. Update center jobs is failing. Uh, we should see today if uh, the weekly release is working as intended and uh, it was uh, because uh, Blocksphere needed uh, oh, virtual that's the, call. That's the Python problem. Yes, that's that's what. Again, that's yes. Um, since there is uh, there has been many uh, issues related to Blocksphere, uh, I've opened an issue to see if we could replace it by an uh, Azetly command, CLI command. Uh, last time we had uh, this question, uh, we wondered uh, if uh, we could do symlink with uh, AZ, and since we can, I think we should. Mm. Uh, two issues related to accounts. Uh, the first one is some. Uh, Someone we who doesn't know their email, their, yeah, uh, yeah. We have asked them to to send us an email from to to we 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 gave them the email uh, associated to this uh, user so they can try to reset their password themselves. The other one is uh, uh, in progress. I think we have to respond to them. Is they send us uh, an email on Jenkins Infra Team private email? We have to to take care of it. Azure uh, credential for Cert CI is expired. Uh, I That's think related it's, to uh, the service provider too. Yes. No, I think. Yes. So we have uh, in short term uh, a new certificate has been issued, and uh, in long term we have to ensure uh, it can be automatically done. Uh, at Leicester, private K8 is nothing has been done since last week. Uh, we still have to move uh, a different service from uh, uh, the current uh, prod uh, public K8 is cluster to this uh, new private one. Maven uh, 17. Yeah, the title Maven. is not the good one anymore. If you see, uh, Sorry? check on uh, the the title is not uh, uh, quite explicit. If you if you go down, you will understand. This one is uh, about uh, the load uh, charge on say the Jenkins that I use. and uh, now we have to see how we can 
isolate uh, bomb build from the user so uh, they don't uh, uh, they don't uh, keep all agent next uh, we have the uh, code signing uh, certificate renewal process and uh, renew the signer certificate for Jenkins. We are working on it with Stefan and Mark. I don't know if we had any news from DigiCert since last week. No news from DigiCert. No. I, I'm going to have to contact, I will contact them directly this week to understand if they're blocked, if they're ignoring us. What it what it means. So I'll I'll connect with DigiCert directly. Okay. Uh, the artifact caching proxy. I've uh, implemented uh, the artifact caching proxy on some new repository. I have my pull request for backend extension and the Excel ready for review. I've added it to pipeline metadata utils and pipeline step doc generator. I have to review the one for the Java doc generation since it's failing. And I'm continuing uh, adding uh, artifact caching proxy to more, uh, more builds. I have the biggest one, I think, remaining is the acceptance test harness. But I have to see with Damien how I could do it since it's main, it's uh, working on Docker and yeah, working on it. And uh, finally, Raline uh, repo Jenkins CI that org mission. I don't know if uh, there has been any progress since last week. I uh, did we receive the last log from Gfrog? They sent us the link three days ago, but I can't download from that link. And so I've asked for a new set of logs. And then this week I'll do more analysis on those logs. And we we still expect that the biggest consumer is that uh, thing in China. And we're hoping they'll find a way to let us block that that consumer. If not, we may have to use some devious techniques like, blocking specific very old Jenkins war files or somehow throttling them so that they take a very long time to download. I'm not sure what techniques we'll need to use, but that that abusing <clears throat> consumer, we don't know how to reach them. We don't know how to ask them to stop because we don't know how to contact them. Yeah. Uh, with that last issue, I think we have we are done for this week. Anything, any questions? Any, uh, in the backlog, I don't think we have any. Let me check quickly. For the infra team, we got, uh, we got, we still have the alerts on, uh, on the Windows, uh, some, some Windows agents that uh, have a, sl a low uh, hard drive. We did extend the hard drive, but we I think we discovered that there is two partition. So we need to understand why it's creating a second partition, if we can remove it, if we can only have one, if we, uh, but it's it's not really um, obvious. Uh, so we can maybe- oh, Those uh, ones are the window ACI. That's, that's yes. the one for now we are- We, are, been we have not progress that progress for Windows. Yeah, there has been progress for Windows agent, but more of them have to be upgraded to SSD hard drive or similar uh, improvement. Great. Uh, this one we can, yeah, we'll, on, uh, as a long term uh, issue, we will uh, um, send down. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, well, we will shut down the Chinese uh, Jenkins that version. And, yes. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not overly concerned about doing that very quickly, but certainly, Kevin, 
Kevin and I both have interest in it in the from the documentation side because we've started to receive bug reports from Chinese users who are reading outdated Chinese translations, whereas if they'd read the English, they wouldn't have submitted that bug report. Um, I think that's it for this week. Any questions? Or... Okay. So, right. bye. See you next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.